Radio.com presents Don't Take Embril Naked. Embril is a phenomenal drug bringing some phenomenal relief for people with Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, cirrhotic arthritis, plaque arthritis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and ulcerative colitis. Getting much needed relief from the pain that accompanies most of these diseases, leaving you naked. Well, not physically, but certainly a naked immune system. If you're like I am, I've pretty much learned to tune out the 26.5 seconds of the reading of the potential side effects from commercials these days. We've basically become accustomed to them. What they forgot to mention was that while leaving you naked, a new pre-approved by the FDA remedy is now available that clothes your immune system. And not with some flimsy shirt, but with the armor of a medieval knight, fighting off dragons and rescuing fair maidens. And unlike typical antibiotics, there's no immunity by bacteria, viruses, germs, or other pathogens to this armor. So how did you get naked to start with? Let's start by looking at the warning from the drug companies, the FDA, and the CDC. This is the warning posted on the National Institute of Health, or NIH, for those using Enbrel, which is the name for the company, but the generic name is Etanercept. Warning. Etanercept injection may decrease your ability to fight infection from bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and increase the risk that you will get a serious or life-threatening infection including, and I'm not going to go into the rest of this. Let's see, decrease your ability to fight infection from bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Naked. That's right, I said it. Better interpreted as naked. Not only does it decrease your ability to fight off infections, but it also will increase the risk that you will get a serious or life-threatening infection. Marvelous. Real quick, let's look at what Emerald does. Let's say you have a fortified castle, but an intruder parachutes in over the wall, bypassing the moat, drawbridge, and locked gates. The first thing you do is send a scouting party to check out the intruder and bring back the report. Is he armored? What weapons is he carrying? Is he alone or is there a group? Are they small or giants? Is it someone we've dealt with before? All necessary questions to formulate a response. One guy, upper body armor, helmet, average size, with a pistol, and we've never seen him before, so be careful. By the time you send a couple guys out to attack, come to find out several more of his friends have shown up as well. All looking pretty much the same. You guys run back to the base and report. More intruders, same modus operandi. Do we need the cannon? No, too many innocent bystanders. Knives or swords? No match for the pistols. Machine gun. No, bystanders could get hurt. Snipers. Oh, perfect. How many? Six should do. Out the snipers go against an even dozen intruders. It's dark out and it's hard to tell the civilians from the intruders, but they're skilled and proceed with caution. One by one, the intruders are eliminated. Just as planned, but then something goes awry. A couple of the snipers are confused, and everyone looks like an intruder. So they continue to take them out, not realizing that they're actually killing innocent civilians. The commander realizes what's going on and issues a command to cease fire, but the two snipers ignore the command. That's where Major Emerald comes in. He personally goes out and gets the two snipers to stop firing and killing. But because he only recognizes snipers, he starts decommissioning all the snipers. So the next time you get an intruder, your snipers are nowhere to be found, leaving you naked and exposed to just about any intruder that makes their way in. But if you have the AVAG-47 Knight in shining armor, he's the backup for the snipers. Even though the snipers can't respond, your knights are out and about, and because they are fully armored, bullets, knives, bombs, Cannons or swords have absolutely no effect on them. They're like Superman or something. So they walk right up to the intruders, one by one, and choke them to death, leaving them for the garbage men to dispose of them. So even though Major Embril has rendered what was a great line of defense powerless, 
which although much needed as we don't want them to continue killing innocents, left you vulnerable. With the AVAG-47 Knights on station, you're now no longer naked and can fight off intruders. And unlike getting Major Embril on station, getting the Knights on station is much, much easier. Instead of having a high-powered drug company make the AVAG-47, we've discovered a way to bring the drug company to your kitchen and you can manufacture as little or as much as you need and not for several dollars a dose, but for as little as 25 cents a dose. Here's the very good news. As I mentioned earlier, it's in a pre-approved status with the FDA and we can give you access to this maker for your own private use in your very own kitchen. But we don't know how long the FDA will let us make it available to you before reeling us in. I'm going to let you in on the secret right here, right now. What you see below is the AVAG47 Maker, specially designed for simplistic and extended uses. It operates off of a 9-volt DC adapter that can be purchased from Radio Shack or a 9-volt transistor battery convenient when traveling. Simply put the two specially formulated wires into the speaker terminal holes. Fill a glass, making sure to use glass, not plastic or metal, with distilled or reverse osmosis water. Do not use tap water as it will put impurities into the remedy. Set the maker with the wires extending from the bottom down into the glass of pure water. Turn the maker on and leave it for two hours. At the end of two hours, you'll have a very nice golden color remedy. This golden color are essentially your medieval knights. Stir it with a wooden spoon, not metal or plastic. Now drink it, all at once or just sip it throughout the day, whichever you like. Just keep it out of the sunlight. A couple of times a week will keep you with enough AVAG 47 nights to ward off most bacteria or viruses. Here's my disclaimer. I am not a physician or registered or licensed medical practitioner of any kind. The information in this video is for educational purposes and not to be used to diagnose, treat, or cure any medical conditions. It is advised to seek appropriate medical expertise. My name is Nicholas St. John. You can go right now and order your very own AVAG47 maker at http colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash AVAG47. hope this information is helpful. So with all the warning that you are far more susceptible to infections, now you can arm yourself with the ability to take Enbrel and protect yourself from the everyday germs, viruses, and bacteria that are all around us without the fear of getting sick. This is Nicholas St. John. I appreciate you coming by.